Alright, hello everyone, and welcome to another hammer tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to pack your map and upload it to the Gary's Mod Workshop. So, the first step is, so, as you know, I have a custom texture here, and when uploading your map to the workshop, you're going to need to pack this custom texture in so people who play your map can see the texture. Because right now, it's only on your computer. So, let me just quickly do a final compile. So, to start uploading your map, you want to download Gary's Mod Publish, uh, Publish Tool. Now, this is a really good um, tool and application. Um, so let me just open it real quick. Alright, so this is what's going to show up when you open GMPT. Uh, I mean, uh, not including any of this stuff, but... Um, this is just all the maps I've uploaded. Uh, it'll show you them. Or actually, the first thing it'll show you is, I believe, something like this. Uh, basically, all you want to do is just kind of set your um, directories to this that I have here. Once you've done that, you'll see this. Um, so, to set up your map for uploading, this is the file stuff you're going to need. So, you just have a base folder. In your folder, you want to have a maps folder. And this is where you're going to place your, your BSP. Alright, so once you have your BSP, just drag it into your maps folder. Now this alone will work, but what I would suggest doing is making another folder inside of your maps folder and call it thumb. So basically what this folder does, you'll get, you're going to need a 128 by 128 PNG image. And so let me just quickly create one real quick. Uh, new, no, new 128 by 128, and I'm just going to make this like a red with some green text, I guess. We'll just call it tutorial map. So this is the image that's gonna pop up when you're looking through your maps in game. So um, let me just call it, oh, and you wanna name it the same name as your map. So I'll call this tutorial. And so let me grab the image tutorial.png so that's the same name as your BSP this is what's gonna show up when you're like scrolling through all your maps and you're gonna like press to go into it this is what's gonna pop up here now let me show you how to pack your map so for packing your map I suggest uh, two BSP packers which um, is vide or packrat now I used packrat primarily before but I use both of them now in conjugation and they work pretty well and but if you're doing that you want to pack with vide first and then pack rat because uh, vide won't be able to read pack rat like packing for some reason so let me just open vide real quick now vide is a lot more modern than pack rat pack rat's pretty old um, but I like both of them equally so this is how you use vide what you want to do is you want to press on this button here, which is the pack file lump editor. Uh, you want to go to BSP options and press open. And you want to locate your BSP. So you can pack it manually, or I, I wouldn't pack manually with Vide because I don't really think that works. So you can do a pack route though. Um, but for Vide, you want to just press scan here and you want to press browse on your game directory. Go to Gary's Mod, no, that's not my right Gary's Mod folder. Go to Gary's Mod, Gary's Mod, and you want to select this folder, because it'll scan this folder for everything. Then you just press scan. So as you can see, it found all this stuff. This is just, um, oh yeah, I have a lot of other stuff in my map, like the arch from my proper video, the sound, um, the fine wood texture I use on the ground and my fade texture. Now you just want to press auto, which will make all this turn green. You press apply. So now all this stuff will be added to your map. So you just press save, and now all this stuff is added into here. Uh, you can delete the backup. So, you, as you can see, the thing grew by like four megabytes. But that's fine, that means you know it worked. And for Packrat, let me just open Packrat real quick so I can show you how it works. Okay, so once you open uh, once you open Packrat, it's this primitive 
uh, Windows thing, but I'm just gonna quickly try to locate my thing. So, tutorial map, maps, tutorial about VSP. So now you have it loaded up, and you can see all the stuff that I packed with Vide is already in here. But you would do basically the same steps for Packer. You just press scan, select the directory, press scan again, and then you just wanna select all, but there's nothing to select, and then you just press done, and then auto, and then save. So that's how you do it for both things. In your Gary's Mod Publishing Unit, this is how you make your map. So you don't want to touch any of this unless you're updating your map. But I just go to Create, and then File or Folder. I press Folder. I head to my Downloads, and I press on my Tutorial Map. I just go into it, and I press Open. And so this will work now. Uh, for icon, you want a 512 by 512 JPEG. And this is what's going to pop up when you're looking at your map in here. So this is like the image that it's going to appear as. So here it is. And it loads up perfectly fine. It has a preview. So next thing you want to do, you want to go to title. And this is what the title of the map is going to be. So I'll just call this tutorial map. You want to go to map as the type. And then you want to do whatever tags you want. I mean, I, I don't know. I'll just go fun and build, I guess. So then, after you're done with all that, you just want to press add to queue. And you want to press execute. Now, you're going to have to wait for a minute until this says not it's not running anymore. Oh, and there we go. It's done. So now, if I head to here and I refresh, it takes a bit. Oh, there we go. So there it is. Now from here you can edit the title and the description and stuff, and it automatically is set to hidden. So I hope I taught you something with this tutorial. If you need any further help, make sure you leave a comment on the video, and uh, I also will leave a link in the description for a Discord link, and uh, you can get further help there. Um, hope you enjoyed, and goodbye.